Hello. Hi, my name is Miss Sahara. I'm the executive producer of Miss Trans Global. I am here today to tell you about how to apply for Miss Trans Global 2021. So the show is about to start. Yes, the application is now open. So you can go on our website, misstransglobal.com forward slash apply to apply right now. What do you or what should you do in order to be successful in your application process? Already, we have lots of applications that do not qualify because many people are not following the instruction. If you can't follow the instructions, then you cannot join Miss Trans Global because Miss Trans Global is about following instructions. We need girls who can listen and actually read instructions very carefully before creating their content. So what do you need? First up, you need to go to the website and read the rules and regulation carefully before applying. After reading the rules and regulation and you see that you qualify, then you can go ahead and apply for the competition. So first thing you go into the website, you will see that some countries have already been listed, namely Miss Trans Global Australia, Miss Trans Global Brazil, Miss Trans Global England, Miss Trans Global Mexico, Miss Trans Global Northern Ireland, Miss Trans Global Nigeria, Miss Trans Global Philippines, Miss Trans Global Scotland, Miss Trans Global Wales. Now, these countries all have national directors. So you must go to their website directly to apply for Miss Trans Global 2021 competition. They are currently recruiting their contestants right now. Some haven't opened it yet, but most have opened the application. So my advice to you is to contact them directly. You can also contact them on their social networking sites and on their uh, website directly. That is, they have the forms already uh, on their website, so you can apply to there. So you can contact us if you think you tried to contact them and there was no reply, you can contact us and we can alert them for you. If you're a Filipino and you live in the United Kingdom, you can also apply from the United Kingdom. It doesn't matter. Or if you are from Mexico and you live in the United Kingdom and you want to represent the United Kingdom, you can apply from the United Kingdom. So far, you're resident in the United Kingdom. We welcome all trans women, all body shapes, all body sizes, all backgrounds, all manner, all color of skin. We welcome everyone. We just need you to be smart, be the type that can listen to instructions and able to create content on your HD equipment. You need to remember, you must have HD equipment. If you haven't got HD equipment, we may not be able to put you through. We have two stages of application. The first stage is the pre-selection application. Now, this is where you fill the form at the bottom of our website, where you go Onto our website, you will see that you will be required to put your public names in there. We will also require you to type in your social networking site by putting the www.this social networking site forward slash your username so that we can go to your website to look at your website. We have a team of seven recruitment officers who are actually going to review your applications before they will put you through to the next round of the application. So if you want to be successful, my advice to you is to follow the instructions on the website very carefully. So here are, here are a few of the things that you need to do. One is very important that you create a video, a 45 seconds horizontal elevator pitch video of yourself telling the Trans Global Organization why you want to join the cast of 2021. Remember that when you are talking, just be yourself. Don't be scripted. You need to be natural because all our professionals are going to be able to tell if you are just being scripted. So just be yourself and just be natural when you're talking. Now the seven people will go through it and they will decide if you should make it to the next round. So anyway, so once you have the video done, you have recorded your video, make sure your video is in the horizontal position. This is vertical. You need a horizontal video. Don't do, hold it, put it on a table or put it on a tripod. By doing so, the video won't be shaky. You, people can concentrate on you when you're watching the video and they can see and hear what you're saying. They see you and also hear what you're saying clearly. In a situation where the video is shaky or it's not stable, 
then they won't take you seriously. So my advice is make sure you have a clear HD video that is stable while you're talking and you're speaking in a clear, concise manner. Once you finish recording your video and you think you're done, you're happy, then you go to our website when you're filling the form where you put your names, your social network site, then you include the link of the video from your YouTube page into the website. Yes, you must upload your video and in your personal YouTube page, in the unlisted area of your YouTube page, the unlisted section is where you publish videos but other people can see it, except the people you share the link with. So when you do that, you send the link to us and we can watch it and decide if you should make it to the next round. Also, you're required to tell us if you can afford the application fee or not. If you can't apply, uh, afford the application fee, then you must tell us in the application form why you cannot afford the application fee. But if you think you can afford the application fee, don't worry about it. You can just submit. You don't need to uh, you don't need to explain anything to us. All you need to do is to put mail or put not applicable. Any section of the form that does not apply to you, just put not applicable or put NA or put NIL mail. So in the form, when you're telling us about your the fact that you can't afford the application, make sure you explain very well in detail. Don't put just one sentence because that's not enough. You need to explain to us why you cannot afford the application fee. Because these are things that are going to encourage the uh, the 17 members who are going to do the selection. So once that is done, you submit your video. When you click on submit, you will not get an alert and you will not get a notification to show that your video, your application has been submitted. Just send it and just leave it be. You don't have to click it a hundred times. Just once is enough. Uh, if we don't respond to you within 24 hours, it means there's something wrong. It means your application didn't go through. Then you can apply again. All you need to do is within 24 hours and you don't hear from us, send us a message via our website or info at mistransferable.com and then uh, we can sort it out for you. After that, then there is a second stage of the application. Now, the second stage of the application is where you fill the long form. There's a longer, bigger form where you have to tell us about yourself, your address, your educational qualification, your achievements or not. If you don't have an educational qualification, it doesn't matter. Um, your belief and things, all sorts of things that you're going to be submitting to us and your images and some videos as well. You'll be required to submit that video. That is the final stage of the application. From that application, we will let you know if you have made it to the casting section. Now, in the casting section is where we'll know who is going to represent which country and who is going to compete with each other if there are more than two people from one country. Yes, if there are more than two people from one country, you will have to compete with each other. The person who the judges, because we're going to have two panel of judges and the third judge will be the members of the public. So the contestant that the judges select, that contestant will be the one to represent that particular country. So for example, country A has more than two contestants from country A. By the time our application closes, we would pit those two contestants against each other and who win the challenges and the judges score them, that person will win. And remember, our judging panel, we include the member of public. Now, how is the judging going to be done? That is where I'm very excited about because I think it will be very fun. So this is where we have the public as the third judge. You have two other industry experts as the two judges, and then the third judge is the public. So who the public picks and who those other judges can speak is going to represent that particular country. So I look forward to seeing all your application and uh, we are all excited we are ready and we're looking forward to receiving your application so go to our website right now and start applying uh, so see you soon and i look forward to having you in the competition all right bye bye kisses Mwah. <laughs>